Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be building this note taking app with vanilla JavaScript. Go ahead and post a note and it posts. We go ahead and refresh. We'll be using local storage and we can edit, change the color of it, make it bold and also change the font size to 23. Click on post and there we go. Uh, you'll learn JavaScript CRUD operations and how to save data to the local storage. So let's go ahead and get started on this project. All right, so let's go ahead and create our files. I'm gonna create a index.html. And we're gonna create a style.css. Or styles with an S.css. And we're also gonna create an app.js. All right. So head over to your HTML and let's go ahead and start uh, writing some HTML. I'm gonna do a little boilerplate. And for the title, I'm just gonna name it Note App. And let's go ahead and start our project and um, the server up for our project just so we can see the changes that we're making. So I'm gonna right click and click open with live server. And if you guys don't have that extension installed, you just head over to extensions and just install that. And um, you can just right click on the HTML and then open with live server. And it should auto open inside the browser, but um, I got mine to um, manually open because uh, for some reason it kept opening up all of the browsers that I have installed. <laughs> so, all right, so we got our app up and we know this is our project because we changed the title to this and the title on the, um, the tab says no app. That's what we want. All right, cool. So inside of our body, I'm gonna go ahead and do a div. And I'm gonna change the class to container. And inside this div, I'm gonna have an H1 and it's gonna say, note taking app okay. save that and just make sure our change is there nice all right so underneath this h1 i have a div and it's gonna have a class of controls all right so this is where all our controls gonna go uh, our font size the ability to change the text to bold or italic and also change the text color as well so um in here we have a div and we have a label that we're going to do um, font size first. So it's going to be four font size. All right. We're going to do font size. All right. And then underneath this label, we have an input. And the type is going to be a number. The name. Uh, we don't need a name, but we do need a value. So we want the initial value to be 16. And then the ID, we're just gonna need to do font size. All right? So that should be font size, take a quick look. All right, nice. As you can see, we can go up and down, up and down. All right, and then we're gonna do another div. We can actually just copy this. And let's go ahead and just paste it three more times. One, two, three. And we're just gonna change up the stuff for it so let's head over to the second one and we're going to do four this will be for bold and we just change the text to bold like that and the input is going to be a checkbox so it's going to be type checkbox all right so value it's not going to have no value but we are going to change the id to bold all right let's save that take a quick look now we got a checkbox and then next we can actually copy this <laughs> copy this bold one and just get down here because it's going to be another checkbox and this will just be for italic change the text to italic and also checkbox and id of be italic all right save that take a look nice all right and last but not least is going to be a text color. So the label is going to be color. And we're going to change the label to, I mean, uh, text inside of the label. We're going to change it to text color. And the input is going to be color. Uh, value, you can change the value to, um, I think the best way to do it is to change it to white. I'll just do zero or black, sorry. Uh, so value is going to be 
um, the initial value is going to be black and then ID I'm going to change it to color okay, quick look and now we can click this and change our color nice all right so we got all our controls and right underneath our controls so two divs down so make sure you got two closing divs uh, we're gonna have our text area to input our note so um, the text area we don't need a name for it we do need an ID so we can grab it in uh, JavaScript I'm gonna do a note um, cows we don't need we're gonna do all the styling and CSS and roads we don't need get rid of that uh, but we are going to add a placeholder and you can just do write your notes here dot 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 right let's take a quick look at that now we got that there all right and right underneath this text area we have a button and this button is going to have id of post note like that and we're just gonna have post uh, you can just you can either do post note or just post. I'm gonna do post note. All right, post note. And now we need um, we're gonna have a div underneath this button. A div. And this is going to have an ID of note list. All right. So we're gonna keep this empty because we're gonna use JavaScript to um, every time we click submit. This is where all of our notes gonna post inside of this div. So we're gonna keep that empty for now. So right underneath this div, we're gonna go ahead and link our JavaScript just so we can make sure we link that. So we're gonna do a script, I'm gonna do SRC, and it's gonna do app.js. All right, so we got our JavaScript link, but we also need to link our um, CSS. So right underneath this meta here, um, or I think the best thing to do is to do it under the title sure actually it's doing it no matter uh, we're gonna do um, a link and we do CSS all right but make sure it's oh, make sure you add an s here styles.css could be named ours with the s all right so it's gonna save that so all of the HTML is complete let's head over to the styles and let's go ahead and start this so first thing we're gonna do is do a reset on everything so we do a margin of zero padding of zero and a box size in order box I'll save that and now as you see we've got all of the padding is gone and then we have a body we're gonna grab the body all right and we're gonna do a font family of Ariel Auto complete like that. And do RO sans serif like that. All right. And we also going to change the color. So this is the text color to white. But for now, I think I'm gonna um, let's just comment this out just so we can see everything because we won't be able to see it yet. And we're gonna have a padding of 50 pixels zero. All right, so it's basically just giving some padding at the top there. Um, and now we're going to do our container. And this is going to have a max width of 600 pixels. A margin of zero auto. A padding of 50 pixels. A border radius of five pixels. And also a background color of 1c 7ed6 like a little blue color that i found all right cool and now i'm gonna have the h1 and we're just gonna do a text align center for the h1 so do text align center all right so move right to the center and underneath this h1 we're gonna grab our controls now and we're gonna do a display flex. Align item center. And we're gonna do a margin bottom of 10 pixels. 
and a justify content space between. Take a look. Nice. Um, all right, so we got our container, we got our controls. So now we're gonna grab our label. And all we're gonna do for this one, we're just gonna add a margin, right? Of five pixels. Add a little bit of space between the labels and uh, actually let's bring that down some to like two pixels. All right, I think that's good. We got a line item center. Um, now I'm gonna grab the text area. I'm gonna do a width of 100%. A height of 100 pixels. A padding of 10 pixels. And we have a border of one pixel solid. I'm gonna do like this little gray color. A little light gray. Nice. And we also have a border radius of five pixels. Take a look. Perfect. Um, all right, the text area. And now let's do our button. I'm gonna do button. And this is gonna have a background color of 4D A B F7. And we have a margin top of 10 pixels, color of white FFF. Uh, we have a border none, border none, a padding of 10 pixels, border radius of five pixels. Um, and we also have a box shadow I'm uh, gonna do RGBA zero comma zero comma zero comma zero point one and then we're gonna do zero pixels four pixels and then twelve pixels like that. Take a look. There we go, we got our button there, nice. Alright, and now we're gonna have a hover effect to this button. All we gotta do that is do is a pseudo class. We're gonna do hover. And we're just gonna change the background color to 0056B3. Take a look, when we hover, just changes the color. Uh, we could add a, let's see if we add a transition of 0 0.5 seconds, easing it out. A look and now we got that nice little hover effect and we can also add cursor pointer as well all right perfect and let's actually change this to like 0 0.3 seconds all right perfect um all right now i think we can comment out this line let's go and make our text white okay so we got our button hover now we're going to um trying to think if we should uh, i'm not going to edit our note yet because we can't even see it so we're actually just going to wait for that part but um all right so yeah we're, we're let's go ahead and do some javascript the rest of it um we're going to finish dialing this up in a bit so let's head over to the JavaScript and it's pretty long JavaScript. It's about hundred lines of JavaScript close to it, but, uh, it wouldn't be that long if we didn't add, um, all of these, the ability to like change the font size, italic mode, and, um, change the color. But all right. So this project is going to take a lot of JavaScript. It's about 150 lines of JavaScript. I'm going to try my best to explain. Um, all of the functions we're about to create and um, try to explain explain it the best I can. All right, so let's go ahead and create. I'm gonna make some space because I'm actually gonna have some stuff at um, a function on the top of this, but I actually want to create um, another function first. We're gonna create our create note function. So we're gonna do a function and do create note. All right, 
and uh, just go ahead and grab our note text and do a cons note text and this is just going to equal document that get element by ID this is going to be nope and we're gonna do dot value okay all right and we're also we're gonna do a if um, if check so if the input field is empty uh, you can't you won't be able to post a note um, so for example if I click post note um, if without this check it will just post an empty note and we don't want that so this is a little trick we can do we can do if note text dot trim so if that equal to empty string all we're gonna do is return right does that and now let's go ahead and grab our controls I'm just gonna go ahead and just copy this and just go over it just paste it so we're grabbing our font size we're grabbing bold uh, we're grabbing um, is italic I mean we're grabbing italic and we're grabbing color and we're grabbing all of these by our get element by ID if you look over in HTML we added an ID to each one of these so we got ID color ID italic bold and font size so we're just grabbing those but it's a little bit different uh, for the font size we're just we're grabbing a value but we're also adding PX to it so we hit over to the note taken um, app so if we change it to 20 it's going to be the value is going to be 20 px so pixels <laughs> and uh we're grabbing um checked for bold let's see if it's checked so checked um and then we're also grabbing checked for italic and we're grabbing the value of text color so just the value of our text color so that's all we're grabbing in that one and now uh we're going to create a new note container item container and to do this we're going to do a cons no item and that's going to equal create um uh, let's see I'm trying to see how we can do this okay so before we do this actually at the top of this there's some code we got to put up here to um to load the notes from our local storage so i wanted to save this for last but i can't do it because there's a function that um we, we need in here so we're going to do a window dot add event listener and we're looking out for load so whenever the page load we do function because out of uh add event listener it takes a um an event and then it takes a function afterwards uh, so we do function and in here uh, we're going to retrieve the save notes from the local storage so to do this we're going to do a con save notes and that's going to equal json I can spell right json dot parse and do local storage at this local storage uh, local storage I don't know why I keep saying this. I think I have to put that. Uh, local storage. All right, there we go. I had to put that one. The local storage dot get item, and we get notes. That. All right, and then after this, we're going to do or an empty array just in case notes is empty. So or empty array just in case our notes are empty all right and then we're going to do a note list we're going to grab our note list so we hit over to our html this is just our note list that we made our empty div so let's go ahead and grab that using get element by id so note list and that's going to equal document why does it keep doing that document dot get element by id and we're grabbing the note list perfect all right and um, now we're going to do a for each loop and this is basically it's going to iterate through the save the save notes and it's going to create um, no items for each one so to do this we're going to do save notes and we're going to do a for each hopefully oh my god 
why is it doing <laughs> it's like not auto complete in the way that I want it to do but for each and we do a function save notes for the argument and then in here we do const note item and that's going to equal create note item note item take in save notes or save notes right and I meant to change that to save notes so make sure um, this one is without the s and now we're going to uh, append pin the note item so I'm gonna do a note list dot append child note item All right we're getting what's this cannot find create no item um hmm. okay i know why that's happening um we didn't create this function yet we're going to create it here in a second so let's just keep it there for now uh so we got our function so let me bring that up so we got to create note and now down here after we grabbed our our um our input fields um or our controls now we're going to go ahead and create our new note item container and to do this we're going to do a const note item and that's going to equal create note item like that and in here we're going to do a text it's going to be note text our font size is going to be font size uh, we got to make sure we add a comma make sure we add commas and then is bold it's going to be is bold comma is italic is going to be is italic and then text color is going to be text color nice all right so that is our create note function um actually no i think yeah we need more uh we need to add more so we get, gotta make sure we reset the input fields back to the default but before we do that let's go ahead and um grab our note list so we're gonna do a const note list and not no item note list and this is going to be document dot get element by id and we're grabbing a note list All right, and let's go ahead and append on um, that note item. So we're gonna do note, uh, note, note list dot append child, and we're about to append this note item that we just created. We're gonna append that. So we're gonna do notes item. All right. After that, we want to reset all of our fields. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. We don't gotta um, type all of this in. Well, you guys do, <laughs> um, or you guys can just go to my GitHub and copy this over. Um, so document dot get element by ID. So we're, we're resetting this back to an empty string. The note we're resetting the font size to 16. Uh, bold we want it to be false. Um, italic we want it to be false, and the color we want it to be black. All right, and now we're going to do a save note to local storage we didn't create this function yet and we're saving the note item so we didn't create that function yet but we are all right so that is our create note function now um we're going to create another function and this is just creates a, a new note item with the provided data that we that we um, get from this create note function so Let's do a function and this is going to be our create note item function and it's taking in note data um, and let's go ahead and grab our note item actually we're gonna uh, create an element um, a new note a new note item um, container and to do that we're just gonna do cons no item that's going to equal document 
dot um, create element. Create element. And we're going to create a div. And we're also going to add a class name to this div. So let's do a no item dot class list just so we can style it up in CSS. And we're going to do dot add. And you guys can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name mine note. All right. And we also want to change the font size to whatever our font size is. So we're going to do no item dot style dot font size. And that's going to equal note data. I was getting it from this note data. And we do dot font size like that. All right. Um, and now we're going to um, apply bold or italic styles if um, our inputs are checked. So to do that, all we got to do is if our note data dot is bold, all we're going to do is do uh, no item dot style dot font weight. And that's just going to equal to bold. Make sure you put it in quotes. All right. And let me just copy this because now we got to do italic. So if is italic, uh, we're going to change. So it's not font weight it's actually font style. And we're going to change that to italic. All right. Nice. Perfect. Oh, I don't know why I'm clicking on that. We can't see anything now. <laughs> All right. Um, so after this, um, we're also going to change the color. So let's do no item dot style dot color. And that's going to equal our note data dot text color. All right. Cool. So let's go ahead and get the, um, the current time of the note. And uh, we're going to grab that from local storage. All we got to do is do a cons timestamp. And that's going to equal new date uh, to local storage to local string. Sorry, like that. All right. And let's go ahead and set the HTML content for the note item. So this is basically, we're going to be writing HTML inside JavaScript. I, this is why I love JavaScript. You can do so much with it. Um, I'm going to do no item and I'm going to do enter HTML. I'm going to equal that. I'm going to do back ticks. So now we got access. We can do a P tag. We can do div. We can do H1. We're going to do a P tag and we do brackets. And this is going to be our note data dot text. All right, and still inside of the back ticks, we got to make sure we close. The only thing you don't get auto completion. So you got to actually make sure you have closing divs and um, everything is perfect or it will mess up. All right, so after that, still inside of the back ticks, we're actually going to have another P tag. But this time we have a class and that's going to equal to timestamp. All right make sure we close it and it's going to have post it on dollar sign brackets timestamp when I close the P tag like that and perfect all right so that's our NHTML this is basically going to show our timestamp um, we could have did this another way as well. We probably we could have put a p tag inside of our HTML and made it empty, and then just did it a total different way. But um, I'd rather just do it this way. All right, so let's go ahead and create and um, create our edit and delete buttons for the notes. So let's do a cons edit controls, and that's going to equal documents dot create element. What the hell is create tree walker? <laughs> it sounds like something for a game. We'll create element and div. We're creating a div. 
let's go ahead and add a class to this. So we're gonna do edit controls dot class list dot add. And I'm just gonna name it edit controls. All right. Um, now we need to set the inner HTML. It's kind of like how we did here. So we're gonna be creating buttons inside of here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just copy this and paste it. So just do an edit uh, dot edit controls dot inner HTML. Make sure you do back ticks and we're doing a button tag. And we're adding an on click on the first button and it's going to have edit note and you can either i just put this in here uh you can name that whatever you want it doesn't matter um and then uh it's gonna have edit and then a closing button and then the next button it's gonna have an on click delete note and then uh it's gonna have delete and then close make sure you close the button and then all that is inside of back ticks that's our inner html and now we need to append the child. So we're going to do no item dot append child. And we're going to do edit controls. Okay. And all we want to do now is return our no item. Return our no item like that. All right, perfect. So that is our create no item using our note data. And then we got our actual create note that's going to be sending over the data for this but now we need to just create our edit uh, functionality for our edit button and our delete button let's go ahead and do that now so we can do a function edit notes and just do edit button all right and we're gonna do a cons no item it's going to equal edit button uh, parent element so this is basically just grabbing a parent element dot parent i don't know why it's not auto completing parent element dot parent element so make sure you do parent element dot parent element and now we're going to uh, get the text content of the note being edited so into a cons note text and that's going to equal no item dot query selector I don't know why it's not auto completing. And we're gonna grab p tag. And grab the first child. First dash child. First child. And we want the text content of this. The text uh, content. Content. Perfect. All right. And uh, now we're just going to just set the note, um, the note text in the input field uh, for editing. So to do that, all we got to do is do a document that get element by ID. We're going to grab the notes. We want the value of this. And that's just going to equal our note text. All right. And now we're just going to uh, just delete the original note once our edit once we edit i'm just going to do delete note we didn't create this function yet and let's do edit button like that all right so now let's go ahead and create this delete note function now function delete note let's take in the delete button that and this one's easy i'm just going to do a const no item equals delete button dot parent element dot parent element I don't know why that one auto completed <laughs> um and we're just gonna do no item dot remove that All right and we also need to remove it from local storage as well so it's gonna do remove we didn't create this yet and do remove notes from local storage and we're going to remove no item all right perfect so we got our delete note and we got our edit note uh function so now we need to create our function to actually save the note to local storage all right so to do that uh we're going to do a function and save note to local storage 
and we're taking in a no item. Okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it here. All right, so we're doing a const save notes, and this is going to equal json.parse uh, local storage get item notes and or empty array just in case we don't have any notes. And then we're grabbing um, our note text, and that's going to be no item dot query selector uh, first child, and we're grabbing the text content. And then we're just grabbing our stuff from our um, controls. So we're grabbing a font size uh, that's going to equal no item dot style font size uh, bold no item dot style font size equals bold. And if this one equals italic, and then uh, next one is our text color. All right, and then we're gonna do a cons new note. And that's just going to equal text. It's going to be our note text. Font size, it's going to be font size. Make sure we add commas. Our is bold, it's going to be is bold. Is italic, it's going to be is italic. And last but not least, our text color is going to be text color. All right, and I forgot a comma there. And I always add one at the end. And now we can uh, use the push method to push our notes. So we're gonna do save notes. And this is going to equal that push. Not equals, but we're gonna do that push. And we're gonna be pushing our new notes. Like that. All right. And now we're gonna do a local storage at set item. I'm gonna set it to notes, comma, JSON, dot stringify, save notes. Save notes. Perfect. All right. So this is the function to save um, a note to our local storage. So now we need a function to remove a note from our local storage. All right. And they're going to do a function remove note from local storage. It's also taking in a note item. All right. So we do a const saved notes. That's going to equal our JSON dot parse local storage dot get item. This is basically just checking a local storage for any notes. Be notes. We also got to make sure this case is empty or empty. All right. And next we're going to do a const note text. And that's going to equal no item dot query selector. The same thing we did up there. We're going to grab the P tag. First child. I'll make sure we put in uh, quotes. First child. First dash child. And we're grabbing a text content of this. All right. All right. Now we're going to find the index of the note being removed because this line is really important because <laughs> then it'll just I, I don't even know what it'll do if we didn't have this line of code so we're going to do const index new save notes dot find index find, I don't know why my autocomplete isn't working and do notes and it's going to return notes dot text so if it equals to note text, all right? So it's basically just finding the exact note to be removed, find an index of it. And now we're gonna do an if check. So if our index is not equal to negative one, we want save notes dot splice. Index one. 
All right. And let's go ahead and set our local storage. We're going to do local storage dot set item. Do notes, comma, and JSON dot stringify. Save notes. Perfect. All right. And last but not least, as you can see, oh, wait, it worked. Nice. Okay, let's see. Paste. Okay. The reason why, okay, I get it now. So the reason why, because obviously I made this project before. So it showed the, it actually showed the notes that I already had in my local storage. That's, that's hilarious. All right. So now as you can see, our button's not working. So it's just one line of code. Um, it's going to grab, go ahead and grab our button now. So we can do a document dot get element by ID. And we added the ID uh, post note. I'm gonna do dot add event listener. And like I said, this takes two parameters. So we're gonna do click. And we also gonna do our create note function. Let's take a look. Let's do code post. Nice. And let's make sure our local storage is working. Refresh. And it's there. So let's go ahead and make sure our controls is working. Let's click on edit. Change the color to red. Make it bold, make it italic, change the font size to, I don't know, 25 Then post. Perfect. Nice. And it changes, it changes it. Nice. So let's go ahead and actually style this now because we can actually style it because if you look up here, we create the divs and we add class names on here as well. So here we had created a div and we added a class name to this div and the inner HTML of this div. So we created all of this in JavaScript. It's <laughs> just amazing. Um, and then up here as well, we created another div and we added a class name note to it. So now we can actually use this inside CSS. So let's head over to our CSS file. And now we can grab the note. And we got a margin to it. Do margin 10 pixels, zero. And we got a pattern of 10 pixels. We got some border radius of five pixels at a font size, 16 pixels. Uh, we can do a width of 100%, background color, white, and a box shadow of RGBA. I'm gonna do that. And the values for this one is going to be 99, 99, 99, 0.2, 0 pixels, 2 pixels, 8 pixels, and 0 pixels. Let's take a look at that. Perfect. Uh, let me just type in some other stuff. Let's make sure. Nice. All right. So that's our note. And now we can grab our timestamp because head it back over to our app.js i don't know where we got it at so down here not that one now where do we add our timestamp um timestamp where are you right here so here we did an inner html and uh we added a class of timestamp here so now we can actually grab that inside css let's go ahead and do that so we do dot note dot timestamp or we could have just changed the actual <laughs> this um, timestamp I think and do color and we're gonna do RGB um, do 158 158 153 and 153 all right be like a little gray color and uh, we're gonna do a font size of 14 pixels. All right, perfect. Um, and just so it won't get the styling of that, we could probably just change it. Uh, bold um, font weight, font weight to, what if I change it to inherit? Let's see what happens. Okay, not inherit, cause it's just gonna inherit the parent container. Container of, so we'll do font weight of, 400 
and then do font style of normal. All right, perfect. So that's just so that it won't it won't take the um, same styling that we'll have from our um, controls. All right. And now we can grab also grab the edit controls. So our edit button. So we do edit controls. We have a margin top of 10 pixels. All right. And grab the edit control button. But I'm going to use most likely most um, this style in here. So let's do dot edit controls button and I'll paste that in there oh well not the whole button <laughs> all right all right perfect uh, I'm gonna change this up a bit so we want the same color um, we don't need this margin top here uh, border none uh, we're gonna do a padding of five pixels and then ten pixels my border radius five cursor pointer in a box shadow nice let's go ahead and add our hover effect so we do edit controls button hover and we're going to do a background color of uh, we can do that color there nice and make sure it deletes make sure when we refresh it stays deleted nice all right perfect so uh, there is one issue that we're facing. Um, let me just go over to my index.html. And in here, I'm just gonna write some lorem. And I'm actually just gonna copy this, cut it out just so I can just get some access to it right quick. And I'm gonna paste it in here. And if I paste, oh, okay, it works, nice. Let's see. Okay, perfect. So I guess we don't need that line of code that I thought we need. Um, let me just make sure. So if I type in a long sentence, close note. Okay, it works. All right, perfect. Uh, I was having an issue before to where uh, the text wasn't wrapping right, so. Uh, it's fixed now. Perfect. <laughs> uh, so we're going to delete, delete, delete. It's going to edit this, uh, change the text color to red. And I want that to be bold. And that is my note posted on 1127, 1149 PM. It's pretty late. I need to go to bed. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I uh, hope you guys learned. Um, JavaScript CRUD operations. This is one of those projects where I was kind of bored. And one thing that I don't want to lose, um, one thing I really want to keep learning is vanilla JavaScript. I kind of went straight to React, um, dived heavy into React. I can I know React like the back of my hand now. And one thing I don't know much of is vanilla JavaScript. So that's why I tend to um, do vanilla projects. I don't know if you guys see the videos on my channel. I try kind try to come back and do a vanilla style projects just so I can keep learning um, um, vanilla JavaScript because it's, it's, it's really amazing, man. I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, so that's it for me this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.